Well, I'm a strong believer bowling is more important. I think bowling wins your games. Batsman only set up games for you. It's the bowlers who end up winning your games. Which animal scares you the most? The elephant? Elephant, yeah. No, But you're the only one who can look an elephant in the eye. <laughs> These guys have made me a successful captain and captain can't win games individually. Yeah. I can, and, I'm, and I'm being very yeah, fortunate. Not. You can't leave people when they're when they're going through a rough time and that is that is why we've been very I think we've been very good as well. Many people said that that you know he's a lucky mask or something. But I was fortunate enough to be a part of all these three you know big titles. I haven't had more nightmares than against any bowlers than him. I have always maintained that in all my interviews that the toughest bowler in international cricket are faced with Monimo. And as I said that we respect the opposition, we respect RCB, we respect other oppositions but we fear no one. Right and so here they are, this, the stars of the KKR bowling unit. Piyush Chawla, Mone Mokka and Gautam Gambhir who would rather not be seen bowling in their, in their presence as well. How's your bowling Gautam? Look, I think these guys are better yeah. in handling that department mm -hmm. so they can answer that question. In fact, Piyush has made me stop bowling now. Piyush, you, you, played, you played somewhere else and then you came to KKR. So I want to ask you two things. One is, how is it playing in KKR and how is it to force your captain to stop bowling? <laughs> well, it's always, I, you know, I was with Kings Eleven yeah. for the first six years and I moved to KKR and I'm really enjoying it here and obviously the wicket in Eden suits me. And I never stopped him from bowling. <laughs> Just that we have a lot of bowling options so he said, you don't need me. I'll come in the last like a Shahen Shah. <laughs> <laughs> Mona, how, how's it like? I mean, play, playing at Delhi was one thing, but suddenly getting assimilated in, in this culture in, in KKR? Uh, the journey so far for me has been unbelievable. I mean, you know, as a South African growing up, um, you always hear about Eden Gardens and to call that now my, my home ground is very, very special. Um, you know, I've, I've enjoyed the journey so far. Being part of, of the winning team, you know, lifting the, the IPL trophy is, is, is a dream come true. But yeah, I think we've got a fantastic squad. Everyone says T20 is a batting style of cricket. The batsmen more important or bowlers? more important for you. Everyone has this debate all along and there's a lot of us who think, hang on, you can have all the batsmen in the world but the bowlers help you defend the score. Well, I'm a strong believer bowling is more important. I think bowling wins your games. Batsmen only set up games for you, it's the bowlers who end up winning your games and I've always believed that irrespective of what the format is, if you have the bowlers to get the opposition out, you always have an edge on the opposition. So what are the thinking behind poaching him? Look, I thought that we, uh, we wanted a quality leggy. I think uh, that was something which we were missing in our ranks. Though I was there, but I still thought we <laughs> <laughs> that, that we needed a quality leg spin, yeah. especially in our conditions. And uh, so obviously, uh, the kind of record he had for Kings XI, especially playing in Mohali, which would, might not help him that much. And then getting him to KKR, we always thought that how, how big a threat can he be once, once he starts playing at Eden. I mean, he's, he's got more wickets than anybody else in the IPL, but you're number three on the IPL wicket takers list. I think number three right now. Are you the kind who counts? I don't know exactly, but uh, I'm just trying to get up to the second now. Now, Mone, one of the things he said earlier on was that as captain, he likes to look his players in the eye and ask for truth and honesty. That must be really tough to do with you. <laughs> I've stayed a couple of times with him when I played against him. Yeah. Um, you know, fond memories in South Africa. Yeah, we, there was a, a good battle between myself and, uh, and Gautam, but um, you know, now as my, as my captain of Kolkata, I tend to look down and I'm very scared <laughs> when, when I bowl a bad ball and I go for four. Um, but yeah, no, loving it. So when you look him in the eye, you're saying... Look, there's a, uh, look, every time I used to play against him, and uh, honestly, I've told him on his face as well that the toughest bowler I've faced in international cricket, or I believe I've faced is him. And every time I would face him, and uh, especially when he was playing for Delhi, and I would come back to my CEO and everyone that we got to push him to come back in the auction because we want him at any cost. Because the easiest way to get runs is when you get the <laughs> toughest bowler you faced on your side. And I thought that, and generally, not because he's sitting, I've always maintained that in all my interviews that the toughest bowler in international cricket I've faced is Mohan Mohan. See, these bats were always looking after themselves, aren't they? <laughs> I don't like playing him, pull him in. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a massive compliment. You know, obviously, I've got a lot of respect for, for Gautam. And, you know, and uh, yeah, I think he's, he's, he's helped me a lot of my cricket, you know, learning different skills in these sort of conditions and <coughs> just go, grow, grow from here. So what, what's, what's, what's someone like Piyush added to your team? Because I know you talked about him as a leg spinner, 
and yet he goes in at the end when you need 15 of 10 balls or something and he's got his own style of batting. Look, I hope we might not need him that much with the bat and we try and do that but the thing is that he, he gives us that attacking option. I think uh, it's very important to have those attacking options especially in a T20 format as well where you can attack the opposition with and try and take wickets all the time and uh, that is why it suits my captaincy as well because I'm always looking to have to take wickets with uh, with our attacking bowlers and he's an attacking bowler like he's always an attacking bowler so I think I think he's been brilliant on that front that he, uh, he had some very strong opinions on your bowling <laughs> what are your opinions on his batting <laughs> well, I think he's been a finisher and I think uh, he's <laughs> he's finished the most important game for us and yeah, that uh, 2014 IPL final and uh, I think uh, that shot says it all because yeah. someone who could finish such an important game for us, you do, I don't need to say much more than that because he's contributed more than I have in the IPL finals. <laughs> well, he comes in and he slices one, yeah, he slices that. How, how has KKR been different? I mean, I, I notice, I, I look at all the teams and I, I see something about KKR. But as a player, how has it been different? Well, the atmosphere is totally different. Whatever, like I've been with six years for Kings and I've come here and joined them. So I never felt that this is my first year when I joined it in 2014. And obviously, I played a uh, lot of cricket under Gauti Bhai. So obviously, it's always nice to play under somebody who knows your game and stuff. And he's always there to back you as a captain. And as a leg spinner, you need that big time. Like, he's supporting you. And even the people behind the scene, they are brilliant. Mm -hmm. And uh, like our CEO, owners, everyone is like, it's totally like as uh, Mona said, it's like a family and the way they treat each other, it's brilliant. Mona, we've known Gautam for a long time, all of us, and he's got this impression of being this very serious, very intense character, you know. He's almost like a heavyweight boxer built like somebody else. How is he as a captain? I think that's, that's a, a quality or a character of a quality leader, you know, to when it's needed to, to step up and front up and, and lead from the front. You know, um, and uh, Gauti is doing that. You know, when it's when it's game time, you you almost know you need to you need to be on the money here. Um, and I think that's why KKR has been so successful in the past. You know, um, you can only be as good as your leader and the senior no. players doing that. And well, I've got a completely different take on it. These guys make me successful. I don't make them successful. I think these guys have made me a successful captain. And captain can't win games individually. I can, <laughs> and I'm and I'm being very it fortunate. Be. It cannot be so nice. No, honestly, and yeah. I'm a I'm a I believe in this thoroughly that they make me successful. It's not me that makes KKR or them successful. I think I'm only as successful as how much they want to make me successful. Now you've got you've got spinners. KKR has got this reputation of being a spin bowling side. Then you've got Mone Morkel, you've got Andre Russell, you've got those kind of bowlers. In your mind, when, when are you looking at spin? When are you looking at pace? Do you have a fixed approach? Or do you just go in on an open mind and say, Right, when do I both spin, when do I both pace? Yeah, go with an open mind. It's important to go with the open mind as well. That, uh, and as I said, that if you've got six quality bowlers in your rank, it, gets, it makes your job really easy because you've got, you can attack all the time and depending on the battles, depending on the conditions as well. If you see most of the sides, they've only got five bowlers and we've got six proper bowlers and then the part-timers. So if you have that luxury of six bowlers, and then obviously it makes your life very easy, but that's, that's how we've built our team as well because I always felt that bowlers win new games and that's why we have a strong core of uh, bowlers in our ranks. Mm. The, the other big KKR story, especially with respect to the bowling, is, is Sunil Narayan. And for a long time, when Sunil Narayan's at his peak, pe people would say, KKR back 20 overs, but you only got 16 to play against. But what you've done with Sunil Narayan is incredible. After all the trouble that, that he went through to assimilate him back again, what is the thinking about getting Sunil Narayan back? Because some people might have said, oh, hang on, do we need him anymore? Look, I think mean, that's where faith and trust is very important. You can't leave people when they when they're going through a rough time, and that is that is why we've been very, I think, we've been very good as well. We've supported players, we've backed players when they've not had the best of time, and he's done some unbelievable things for us. Wouldn't it wouldn't be nice that mm. if we just let him go like that? And we've, I think, uh, KKR as a franchise needs uh, a lot of credit needs to go to KKR as a franchise because they've supported him during that time as well. And now he's coming back. He's coming back, and he hopefully he's going to be at his best mm. again because we wanted to get him into this competition. We wanted to actually ease him into this competition. But does he does he talk? more than off the field either because I'm no. told the record no. for Sunil Narayan on the field is three words in one and a half hours. Yeah, he hardly speaks. He hardly speaks. Seriously, even when so we are So how do you spinners get and talk to each other? Oh, when we are bowling at the net, so he, like, sometimes I try to build a conversation. He says, nice. That's all he says. <laughs> nice. <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe you should try a South African accent. No, 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 I've tried. I've tried. No, no, no. 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 Tell me, who's, who's among all you spinners, who's, who's the most fun? Hoggy. Red Hog. Foggy. But Red Hog, I mean, I have worked a lot with Brad. He probably speaks as much as about 25 Sunil Narayans, right? <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes I have to tell him that please speak a little slowly so that I can understand. <laughs> so, the other day, when we reached Mumbai, so we were in the pool and he was trying to explain something to Kuldeep. So, Kuldeep was like, AC bhai, kya bol rahe? So, <laughs> I was like, wait. Then I joined him and then he was speaking again. So, he was like, am I too fast? I said, yes, you are. Is he really? Is he really 45 in the morning? Because he's got the energy of someone who's 19. No, you're right. I admire him so much. You know, the gym. He's in the gym every day. He runs around every day. Um, so hopefully, I can still do that at 45. But I think he's just a special breed. Do you actually have to hold on to him and say, Brad, enough. <laughs> Just stand in one place for a while. Look, but you need characters like that in the dressing room. The, on one side, you've got someone like Sunil Laran, and on the, uh, to compensate for him, <laughs> you've got to have someone like Brad Hogg as well. So imagine you have two different uh, kind of characters, and that is what I think, uh, that is always fun, having those kind of characters in the dressing room, which keeps it always very lively. So how is your conversation with Sunil Laran? Do you, do you tell him, what feature I said, and he says, ah, nice. <laughs> no, but I've had a lot of conversations with yeah. him. In fact, I'm, I think I'm the only one who's had long conversations with him and uh, and it's been nice because obviously we got him when he was very young in, in, into international cricket as well and obviously he hardly played international cricket and then since then obviously I think do discuss a lot with him about the team as well, I do, because he's got a great thinking, uh, great cricketing mind as well because someone who's such a quality bowler can't just only be thinking about his bowling. He needs to have a good quality, uh, good think, cricket thinking as well. So I've had very long conversations and it's been a very good relationship as well. And not only when we're playing for KKR, but even when we're not playing, yeah. obviously on the WhatsApp and stuff, we do keep in touch and, and he's a great guy. Does he have a fun side to him? Or is he this angry, serious fastball? Does he have a fun side? Come on. Well, if I have to watch, if I have to play him, then I think I've had, I haven't had more nightmares than against any bowlers than him and I'm not because he's sitting, I've told him on his face and I've, I can tell it in front of everyone that the toughest tour I've faced was in South Africa and when I and I actually had sleepless nights thinking that I have to face Mone and where am I going to score my next run from? And there was a time when me and Sachin were batting in Cape Town on I think day three and we didn't change ends for one, one hour and when you see him off the field, I think he's the most gentle guy that I've ever come across and he's, he's, the, he's the most humble man Just as well. to give you an idea of what size does in a setting. Pius Chawla's feet are barely touching the ground. Gautam Gambhir's feet are barely touching the ground. I'm sort of trying desperately. And Mon is spread his feet all the way down to the middle of the set. Because it's... My, my posture is uncomfortable, so that's why I have to... Because, yeah. But Mon has got a fun side to him as well. He may not always display it, but he's got a fun side as well. Take a look. Imagine we're in a spacecraft. We're two astronauts. I'm, I'm the driver astronaut, and, and you tell me what you see around you. So, let's do this. Are you ready? Ready when you are. Okay. <laughs> There's Mars. Oh, well. It's quick, we just left Earth. <laughs> that's quick. We are, we are going pretty fast. Yeah, we are. Sorry, <laughs> I failed my driver's test. <laughs> well, now you tell me. <laughs> you never asked. <laughs> what, do you see, what do you see there? There's the moon. As you can see, it's only only half a moon there. Okay. Yeah. Which moon is that? Earth's moon? There's only one moon, isn't it? I think we should. Should we explore that? Yeah. You want to go? Let's go. So um, we are at the barrier reef. We're underwater. Oh, we're snorkeling. Yeah. What what do we see? If you can see, there's some beautiful um, reef fish there. There's a, a parrot fish. You can see the fantastic colors. And also, uh, you know, the light, the sunlight reflecting on the coral reef. Um, you know, this is so peaceful and tranquil for me. Uh, you know, oh my witness, there's an unbelievable sea turtle coming there towards us. And a shark! <laughs> um, and yeah. <laughs> and now we did. <laughs> You want a good finish, but the plot is the main thing. What's inside this is plenty of heart. We are seconds away from the second food challenge for the KKR players, and we're going to find out after the Alu Paratha challenge, which Colin won, how are they feeling and what is their preparation? Oh, obviously, you've got to be very confident, obviously, mm -hmm. after winning the last one. So, 
So uh, myself and my partner here are very confident and I'm sure we'll take it out. Who do you think is your strongest competition here? Hoggy. Dr. Hoggy. Hello. Oh, this is... Come on, you taste you... my cake. Taste my cake. I will, I will, I will. So, I, are you confident about today's challenge? Is my cake tasty? I'm... <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty confident here, but looking at those two, they uh, done very, very well. So. Uh, yeah, we've got our word cut out for ourselves. Well, here. is it the IPL, guys? Is it the IPL? Yeah! Well, who's going to win the IPL? Yeah! Right, so we've got the winner's cake here. Obviously, it's got stuff. It's got KKR. It's got all the KKR colours. But look, they've got all the fancy... They've got all the fancy... <laughs> You want a good start, you want a good finish, but the plot is the main thing. What's inside this is plenty of heart. I want to hear your vote. Who's the best? Who's the best? Hoggy's giving them a sad story about. Yeah, just a story. So we'll see what happens. Uh, take number one. Yeah. Partnership in a team, keep a spinner. We are very tight, tight. The Mohawk as well. Oh no, snakes, I'm out of here. It's a bandicoot, run for your life! Which animal scares you the most, the elephant? Elephant, yeah. No, but you're it. the only one who can look an elephant in the eye. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's, so there's something that when you actually face, you come face to face with an elephant, there's just a different sort of energy that, that goes through your body and uh, yeah, I've got a lot of respect for that. What, what animal scares you, I mean, other than morning? No one. I think uh, there's, a, there's a beast called Moni which scares me every time. <laughs> now why is Gautam not in any of these? He actually, he was before me. I'm surprised they didn't use him. Maybe he's, why is he's Gautam just not in any of these fun pieces? Yush, why is Gautam yeah. dragon? I mean, you got an opinion on his bowling. Yeah, no, I'm not there, so I, I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you were the dance special, weren't you? Right now, as, as we always do, we've got some questions for you. Questions that have come in from Twitter. Questions that are that are uh, being asked by people in the studio. And we've got Sanjana here. Yes, I am. <laughs> this is the part of the show where all the fans are the most excited. We have questions that have been sent in from Twitter. And the first one is for Gotham. Who will be your go-to bowler if the team desperately needs wickets? Hoggy maybe one and then Mone as well and Piyush as well. I've got too many options. Very unfair for me to mention one bowler because we are a quality bowling group and it's very difficult for any captain to mention one guy. Alright, the second question comes in from Saurav Mudi. He asks, you always prefer more bowlers in your team where other teams think about their batting depth. Why is that? Because I've already answered this, that bowlers win you games. Batsmen only set up games for you. We might end up scoring 200 but ultimately it's the bowlers who have to defend that. So it really doesn't matter whether you've got a strong batting lineup. If you have a strong bowling lineup, it makes my job very easy. Awesome. Questions from the audience. Uh, hello everyone. Myself Harshida. My question is for Piyush, uh, Piyush Chawla. So you have been a part of 2007 World Cup, 2011 World Cup, as well as the 2014 KKR winning team. So do you consider yourself as a lucky charm for well, the team? Many people said that that you know he's a lucky mask or something. But I was fortunate enough to be a part of all these three, you know, big titles and uh, yes, I am lucky. 
not only for the team uh, like i am fortunate enough that i was the part of these you know big titles hello sir uh, my question is to piyush chavla uh, you have hit many times uh, winning runs for kkr so is this the thing you like the most bowling is my first priority so i love taking wickets for my team and obviously when the situation comes in and if i get a chance to finish the game so i try my level best i would like to ask a question to monu or monu mohan monu mokil like with your height didn't you ever consider playing basketball mm, no the basketball is not very big in south africa it's not a not a very popular sport uh you know they do play it in, in certain uh, towns and cities but uh, where i grew up and i grew up in a cricket family you know the design number one sport and uh, in the backyard i had many battles with my brothers and that's where my love uh, started for for the game uh, my question is to morning uh, your bat- who is your batting idol and uh, your batting chance looks like you matthew hedin is that a cautious of it yeah i think you're watching um matthew played also as a youngster growing up um you know i love that uh, left hand uh, sort of how he used to sm- you know smash all the bowlers on playstation i was idos and um you know once i got out on playstation i'll restart the game so yeah definitely him i like the way he attacked uh, you know from uh, in that initial first sort of overs and also you know the big sixes Well that's it. Congratulations to all the fans that got to ask questions. You have all won yourself exclusive KKR merchandise. Congratulations all all you KKR fans. It's quite 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 neat dress that. So looking forward to all of you wearing that as well. But God let let let's move on. You're going to be playing RCB soon and one of the big things in the IPL is how do you stop Gale Virat AB? So we got to realize that uh, for a batter it's just a one ball t- to one ball game and uh, we can't go into the game thinking that we can't stop them but morning you've got a pretty decent record against uh, against chris gayo as well so maybe maybe got them just throw the ball to you and they do it once more because if you look at the numbers those those numbers are excellent 18 innings he's just got 154 you've got him out eight times yeah look i enjoy batting to left handers uh, that's one of my my strength and uh, like like Gautam said you know as as a bowler um you need to have that belief in 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 your heart and in your mind that you can you can get wickets and, and knock guys over and i think that's my job you know to try and strike with a new ball up front and yeah like i said i just keep to try to keep it as simple as possible and and try and control the things that i can control there's a feeling that maybe you can get ab de villiers out with leg spin you've got him out three times already because the numbers of you bowling to ab de villiers are quite good actually we put we put them up Seven innings, only 39 runs, three 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 times out. Yeah, that's really nice. So, so I just want to add it up to four now. Yeah, why not? That would be nice. So when when you got AB in front of you, do you sort of already have please preset plans? Like maybe he doesn't like this ball more than the other one. I'll get one to turn more. Well, or? to be honest, uh, when whenever I bowl to the likes of AB and all, I know they're gonna go after you as a batter, and as a leg spinner, that creates more opportunity to pick up wickets. Now, today against RCB, this young man not only is still young, so you can call him this young man. Not only does he a great record against AB, he's got a pretty good record against Virat Kohli as well. So you're going to be looking at him. <laughs> There we go. Three times in nine innings, it's only 64 conceded. No, absolutely, I think uh, as I said that it's uh, for me it's always a luxury because if we have so many quality bowlers who could take wickets at any point of time, it just makes my life very easy as well. Then, uh, and obviously that gives you a gives you an edge as well that if you've done really well against a certain batter that you you go into the go into the competition with a little bit more confidence and you know that you can strike him again or you can get him out again so i feel that uh I've got too many options, and yeah. I think. Uh, I mean, that's that's, that's looming as a potential battle. You up against AB and AB and Virat, who, who've just been lighting up this IPL. How are they different in your eyes, from a bowler's perspective? Was AB different? Was Virat different? Well, if you see Virat, he just plays like proper cricket shots, and AB tries so many things. Obviously, he also plays uh, cricket shots only, but uh, he tries. Uh, he played in a different way. Sometimes he just reverse sweeps you, and sometimes you, you know, he just sweeps you and go. slog sweep or something like that so in that case like uh, as a bowler i just need to bowl in the right areas because because a good ball is a good ball and in mm. t20 they obviously take a chance more chance comparatively to test or a one day so there's always a chance you can nick them off and you you know get one top edge or something and if they hit you for a six you just stand and say good shot kkr rcb is one of the marquee games it was what kicked off the IPL as it were the first ever game was KKR RCB so the message for your fans what are you going to be up against when you're playing RCB 
Mr. Gomez, we know that when we play in Bangalore, we know going to have too much of support. But at the same time, that's great fun as well. When you're playing uh, against the tide and when you try and stop the tide, uh, tide and then try and uh, make the fans quiet, that is what great fun is all about. And hopefully, whatever we can, whatever support, little support we're going to get in uh, Bangalore, we'll try and make those people happy and run and try and play our best cricket because we know that how how good a side RCB is. But at the same time, we do respect the opposition, but we don't fear them at all. Are you the, are you the kind who give, who's big on pet talks on big days? Not really. I think uh, you don't need to talk much because I think the moment you wear this jersey, you uh, jersey, you motivate it. And uh, if you don't get motivated by wearing a jersey, then you will never get motivated by any other thing. And as I said, that we respect the opposition, we respect RCB, we respect other oppositions, but we fear no one. It's interesting, Jacques Carlet said that to me as well when I met him once Once you'd finished, once you'd won the IPL. Wonderful having uh, Gautam Gambhir, Mone Mokul, Piyush Shavala. Wonderful having the live audience. Questions coming in from Twitter as well. It's been wonderful hosting this little edition of Nightclub. We've got lots more as we follow an iconic team like the Kolkata Knight Riders. Kick it.